And my name is Anwar Lopez. I'm a youth media instructor here at People TV. Well, People TV is a nonprofit here in Atlanta. It's a public access station. Fuel Media is part of our community development initiative of People TV. It's mostly an outreach to get youth involved in media, um, to kind of give youth a voice, and also teach them about life skills uh, as far as communication, uh, team building, um, leadership, um, things that they're going to use in the real world that they wouldn't get otherwise. The first best practice um, I would say I've learned is you know, know the public transportation system. Um, it's hard for people, especially kids, to get around in Atlanta. Uh, they mostly have to stick, you know, either in their neighborhood or wherever, you know, the public transportation system takes them. Um, I, I get a lot of kids who are interested in the fuel media program here at People TV, and the first thing they ask me is, you know, how do I get there? You know, what buses go by there? And at first I was like, I have no idea. You might want to check, you know, MARTA's website, which, you know, MARTA is a, is a transportation system here. And, and now I know all the routes, you know, I know which uh, rail stations are next to People TV. And um, I try to get, you know, kids to do, get them to do, you know, uh, have their parents involved in it as far as, you know, if they can give them a ride. Uh, even though even though some of the kids are a driving age, um, they don't drive because you know they either can't afford a car or um, even if they do have a car, it's so congested here they're not going to get here on time. And the best way to get here on time and reliably is through the transportation system. The other best practice I learned is I guess on an individual basis is how to relate to the youth. Um, Especially here in Atlanta, I you know I come from Texas, and you know Georgia has a different culture than Texas, so I try to get to know what the kids are watching, what they're listening to. That way, I can easily relate to them more. They, they get surprised at first, but you know, I think they enjoy the fact that you're into what they're into, and that makes my job easier because I can relate to them. W the necessity of what we're doing in class as it pertains to the real world and as it pertains to them. Because, you know, um, it's not just here, here that here at the station that we do it, there's other people doing it across the world, especially people that they're interested in and that they look up to. Another important thing that I've learned is um, being flexible. Um, I'm kind of, you know, I guess, um, a stickler when it comes to, you know, people have to be here on time, they got to show up every day, and it's, you know, it's not their job per se, but um, it's important for them to show up every time, but, you know, I've gotten to know a lot of the kids from a personal standpoint rather than just them being a student, and I see that, you know, the reality is it may not always be able to get here on time. And so I try to work with them because I want them to get the most out of this program. And you know, if, if, if they want, I see that they want to be part of the program, I work with them. And that's where I guess being flexible comes in because you know, you can say, you know, if you can't get here at 4, don't come at all. Or you can say, well, okay, you, you can get here at 4.30, but you have to stay 30 minutes later. And you know, that, that's helped me keep some students, and it's also helped me to help them get more out of the program. So, and, you know, that's something I never expected to do, and, and you know, it's kind of part of uh, what I do now. My name is Anwar Lopez, and I'm a first-year youth media instructor here at People TV. These are just some of the few best practices I have learned during the past year. To learn more about youth media best practices, visit youthmediareporter.org.